Hello, I'm Atubo just now. Today is Friday. Praise God. Now, we don't do broadcasts on Saturdays and Sundays. Why? Because I want you to take Friday, Saturday and Sunday to, to meditate on everything we've been talking about. Go through if you have to listen to these things over and over. Like I always say, go to our YouTube, like it, put on your notifications so the moment the message drops on YouTube, you will get it immediately. <laughs> Praise God. And, and, and watch and listen and listen and listen until you begin to hear the voice of God. Praise God. Now that's the, that's the essence of, of all this preaching. Praise God. Now, we're, we're on 1 Corinthians chapter 3. All week we've been on chapter 3. Okay. Now, where are we? We are in verse 17. We stopped at verse 17. So let's just read verse 17. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We receive today our daily bread. And it's working in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. All right. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? Praise God. Verse 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Did you see that? Now, you're, you begin to deceive yourself when you think you are wise in yourself. Let me tell you this. The wisest decision you will ever make in life is a decision to choose wisdom himself. <laughs> Praise God. So what, what do you mean by that? You know, Proverbs 8 talks about wisdom. And I've told you before, who was Proverbs, Proverbs 8 talking about? It? Proverbs 8 was simply telling you about the Holy Spirit. Go and read it again. And look at it differently. Oh, this is talking about the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Praise God. That, that's who wisdom is. So I said the greatest wisdom you can ever display is the wisdom to accept wisdom himself that's the holy spirit now it says let no man deceive himself if any man among you seem to be wise in this world let him become a fool say what does it mean wise in this world he you know like they say uh, he's street smart you know he's street smart so he, he knows stuff about everybody he knows what people can do he he's got so much experience on the street he's got so much experience in this world he can tell you oh it can even be economic wisdom he can tell you whether the stock market is going to do well in the next three years and he can be so accurate concerning it. But he is saying here that if any man among you seem to be wise in this world. You know, the Lord said this to me one time. You know, that's, that's when uh, our, last, uh, our last baby was born. And I was praying concerning, because that's what we do. We go before the Lord and say, Lord, we know we are receiving your heritage. So, what, what do we call him, Lord? And I began to pray like that and pray like that. And it took me several, you know, several days you know, praying and asking the Lord, what's on your mind, Lord? And one day the, Lord, the word of the Lord came to me. And he said, I, I, this, was, this was what I heard the Lord say. I'll give you two options. The wisdom of Solomon and the wisdom of Daniel, which would you choose? Now, thank God for the teaching of the word. I already knew, I already knew that Daniel was wiser than Solomon, <laughs> praise God. Now, you say, how? But, 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 but the Bible said there was nobody as wise as Solomon. Go read it again. God didn't say that. Praise God. Solomon was wise in this world. See, who blessed him with wisdom? God blessed him with wisdom. But you see, his attention was in this world. So Solomon knew a lot. Solomon can tell you about nations. He can tell you about flowers. He can tell you about everything. But hey, he wasn't wise with God. But Daniel was so wise with God that God compared his wisdom, actually, 
compared his wisdom to Lucifer. That's big. Now I've already had this knowledge already. So when the Lord said, I give you, so which one would you choose? And I said, Lord, there's no thinking about this. I choose the wisdom of Daniel. And then the Lord began to speak to me. He said, I'm going to open up revelation knowledge to you. Praise God. And, and truly God began to show me things. He began to explain things to me. Thank you, Jesus. Now that, that's why we named him Daniel. Praise God. Because it's a reminder of what the word of the Lord that came to me at that time. That's how, you know, that's how all our children, I can tell you how the, their names came about. So when we call their names, we, we don't just see them. We see the revelation that is behind them. Praise God. All right then. So, so I'm just telling you, you can be wise in this world, even from God. But what did he say? He says, become foolish. Because say, the wisdom of this world comes to naught. That's the truth. The wisdom of this world comes to naught. Even if it is God that gave you the wisdom, if it is consigning this world, it will come to to nothing that's the reason solomon was i mean even though he was the wisest man that ever lived still came to himself and said you know what i look back and i say everything is vanity this is the wisest man speaking and he said look i look back at everything and you know my conclusion is all vanity it's all of chasing after the wind because you think, okay, going to school will be the best. Or, and Solomon made these words. He said these words. He said, so I went to school. I read all the books. I read everything until <laughs> it was like I was getting mad. Too much knowledge. But then what is the use? He said, okay, now you, 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 you do so well. You become so rich. You become so blessed. And then now the next thing you're thinking about is, okay, you have a son. You don't know what your son is going to do with all the wealth you have gathered and whether he's going to use it well or well. So you look at it and say, so what was the point? Solomon said these words. Read the book of Ecclesiastes. He said, it's all vanity. Chasing after the wind. But you see, Daniel was receiving revelation of the worlds to come. God was opening up his heart. Why was Solomon saying it was vanity? Because all he had was the wisdom of this world. And God is a principle that it comes to naught. So be careful the things you ask God for. See, you say, God, I want to know you. What's on your mind? I want to know you so that I will make money. That wisdom will come to naught. It will come to nothing. Eventually. I'll tell you another day why that wisdom comes to nothing. That's another day's talk. Now, follow this carefully. Let's, let's see how we can finish this chapter 3. Mm. He says, so, if any man among you, that's verse 18 now, see men to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. See that? The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written... He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Think about it. Hmm. Therefore, let no man glory in men. Oh, man. My pastor can preach, eh? Ah, if he comes here to preach, don't glory in men. Man, I have an uncle that is, yeah, I mean, he has, he's so rich. I mean, ah, don't glory in men. No. Appreciate who they are. Yes. But don't think because you have them, you are something. No, 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 no. Why? Watch. Mm. It says, therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours the thing you think that person has it's yours oh you know i i saw this scripture several years ago and, and thank god for god's wisdom thank you lord jesus you know and then the lord began to minister to me and the lord said to me what you see in anyone that you like you can have it so i learned you know then i will listen to a preacher share something and i've never heard it before like you gave him that. I want it too. So, so what is the truth about this thing? And I'll go before the Lord and say, Lord, you said all things are mine. 
I want that wisdom. I want that knowledge. I want to understand exactly what that preacher is saying. Sometimes, you know, I remember one time someone just made a statement that, you know, a preacher said something. And said, so, did he explain? He said, no, he didn't explain. He just made a statement. I said, really? Now, that was, it was heavy for me. It was very heavy for me. But I took it, I went before. I told the man, don't worry. The Lord will explain it to me. So I went before the Lord and I said, Lord, can you, can you explain this? Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember that. The, the, the preacher said Jesus got born again in hell. That was, this preacher just made this, that Jesus. Now, that was years ago. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Jesus got born again in hell. Uh, okay. But I, I trusted the preacher. So the, someone shared it. I didn't hear it from the preacher there. So this preacher said, I said, no, I've never heard this before. You know, I said, did he explain? I said, no, he didn't explain. So don't worry. I will get the explanation. And I went before the Lord. I said, Lord, I know that person is your servant. And I know the words he speaks. You give it to him. So if you told him that I want the explanation to that. Now, it took a while. One day the Spirit of God just opened it up to me. You, you know it's so sweet. It's just like you're in a classroom and someone is teaching you. And then I say, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you know, and, and I began, I, I, you know, I, like I always look, if, 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 I don't know, till this day I've not heard that preacher explain or teach that. But I know that statement not just be true, I can explain it to you. <laughs> Praise God. Now what happened? All things are mine. So when I heard that preacher preach that, I believed it and I knew that revelation is mine. Praise God. So, so when, even as I say something, you think, oh, wow, I've never heard this before. Go before the Lord. It is yours. You see someone having something good that you like. It is yours. Don't say, I don't care. I wish God can give. It's yours. Don't wish it. Collect it. Praise God. Go before the Lord. Say, Lord, I, I love that thing. Whether it's a physical thing, whether it's a spiritual thing. You see someone manifesting a gift that you like. It's yours. You know, you know, I, I know, I know where God has called me. You know, God has given us different gifts. I don't know who told us that kind of lie. You know, so, so my gift is healing. That one's gift. Who, who, who said that God has only given you the gift of healing? So, so, so you have the gift of healing. Okay. So now in your family, everybody is gloomy. Everybody is in trouble. And someone needs prophecy. Say, eh, no, the, the gift that God has given me is healing. So I don't have the gift of prophecy. So let's, let's look for someone who has the gift of prophecy. And you begin to call, come on. That just negates the, the, the principle of God's truth. Because it says he is able to make all grace abound towards you. So when you need the great grace of prophecy, oh, you just begin to prophesy. <laughs> Hallelujah. You need the grace of healing. You just, it, it, it's, it's human beings that have turned it to be my special gift. It's not a gift like that. It's a manifestation of the Spirit. He lives in me. He can manifest anything he wants to manifest. So all of it is right inside of me. Praise God. I want healing today. I produce it. I want prophecy. I produce it. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's round this up. Yes, he said, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come are all yours. Hallelujah. You know what that means? You, you know, from the beginning, he said, you, some of you are saying you are Paul. Some of you are saying that. Listen. I'm all of them. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I'm a member of Deeper Life Bible Church. I'm a member of, 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 of Living Faith. I'm a, I'm, I'm a member. Oh, oh, am I? <laughs> Praise God. So, so don't ask me where I belong to all of them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, all are yours. And ye are Christ. And Christ is God's. You see the connection? All things are ours. We belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. So we are all gods. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for this whole week. We've been enjoying your truth in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Even this weekend, Lord, we are going to enjoy manifestation of this truth. All things are ours. And we see the effect of it in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have the best weekend ever. 
I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.